finishing up the brake job on the front of this 69 Firebird and I got the drum brakes all on, everything new in there, new wheel cylinders, new hoses. I'll wait to hook the hoses up until I get the master cylinder on and can pump good clean brake fluid through all the lines, make sure that's all good, and then I'll go ahead and hook all the hoses up. But I'm at the point now where I need to put the drum on, um, set the bearing preload, or the bearing in play I should say, because you don't actually roller taper bearing, you don't want actual pressure against it all the time. And the manual says anything over five thousandths is out of out of spec. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this drum on. Bearings are all packed up. Um, get the drum on and show you how I usually do it, and then I'll check it with the dial indicator and see where we're at. Got the drum. Everything's all greased up good. go drum on I got my bearing here it's all freshly packed in grease with a washer on it go ahead and slide that on there grab my nut get the nut started on And a little bit with the ratchet, it don't have to be a lot. Just kind of spin it, give it a spin, just kind of tighten that down a little bit. If the bearings go on easy, um, I think you're only wanting like 15 to 20 foot pounds here. And as you're spinning the rotor back and forth, the rotor or your drum, just give it a little bit. Okay, now the book says back it off, quarter a half turn, that's what I usually do. So get the ratchet on there, back it off about a quarter turn. Then you have two holes in this spindle. So you can line it up with this hole or this hole. And I'm going to go ahead and give it this one here. And that's where I'm going to line my key up. I got my dial indicator already set up on a magnetic base where I can put it on this drum and the center of this dial indicator will bottom out at zero on the inside of this spindle. So there's pretty well zero. Let me bring in here. Okay, now I got us down here and we made the nut up. We backed it off a quarter turn. Now we need to make the nut up by hand until it's just snug. Snug it up by hand and then back it off until you can stick the cotter key in there. The first one to back off is just right there and it's right in the main keyway slot of that spindle. Let's see what we got for play right there. About one thousandths. Let's go to the next one. The spec is between one and five thousandths. Anything over five thousandths? That's four thousandths. So we can go one thousandths or four thousandths. These are a used bearing. Let's go with the four thousandths. With the four thousandths, as it heats up, that'll close up and tighten up a little bit. But it'll also create less rolling resistance. And I don't think it's enough. It's just gonna majorly throw out the alignment of the car. And there it is. Oh, there it is. I got the 
brakes rebuilt. I got them adjusted. Got the in place set in the bearings. Ready to get this wheel on. Other side's already done. We'll get started on the rear end. Get the diff put back in it, axle seals, and that'll be another one.